Hey, Sean Jance here, and I'm going to do a quick battle plan for Wednesday, February, uh, shoot, what is today? Fe tomorrow, February 7th. Man, days fly by for uh, Wednesday, February 7th. I'm going to do it on Slash GS and the other three indices that you can find on Nadex. And this is actually going to be a very, 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 very quick trade plan, okay? We had a huge mark. I mean, it was relatively, you know, pretty large market sell-off, almost a 6% market sell-off. And as anticipated, we got a really nice um, uh, buying opportunity coming into this market. Nice, there's your four hour candle buy trigger. Some pretty big bulls kind of made their way back up. Everybody was seeing value here. Even I bought on some longer term stock options. I bought 31 stocks this morning. I bought 31 stocks and almost every single one of them went up. It was pretty freaking awesome. I posted the ones that I got in on the Facebook group. It was pretty cool. <laughs> when you get a huge sell-off like this, what I do is I go out and find all these uh, half price stocks and I posted all of them in the group too. So you, if you wanted to get on them, in on them this morning, you could have as well. But uh, nice four hour candle buy trigger. And this is going to be a quick plan because I don't want to be leading you astray. We don't have a ton of structure to the left. This is good. This is this is a little bit more difficult to predict market movement with with some unknowns. We had a large sell-off. Now we had a large bulls, and so it's going to take a couple days for this chart to normalize back to something like that. And that's just kind of pretty. That's I mean that's just bread and butter, right? And so for now though, I want to make sure because especially if you're new, like these markets are moving really fast, and so I don't want to be leading you astray. But there is still opportunity. So obviously we got a nice little four-hour candle buy trigger. There is. You can see there is still more room to run higher. So there's nothing stopping this chart from continuing grinding back. At least, you know, a big target for this chart for tomorrow would be that 2750. I don't know if it's going to make it, uh, but go ahead and write that down in your notes. But you need to be fully aware of what's going on here on this one hour chart. So if you've ever wondered what does a one hour candle sell trigger look like before it sells off, here you go. I mean, it doesn't get any picture perfect than this. We are we are setting up for a nice little weakness on this one hour candle sell trigger. So it's a little confusing, right? We're, we're conflicting. That's why this trade plan is going to be quick. I'm not trying to lead you astray tomorrow. Uh, we got a four hour candle buy trigger still going. That There's still plenty of opportunity for that to run 27.50, but our one hour chart's getting overbought. So it's a little tricky. So when we move to the 15 day, 15 minute plot chart, what I more importantly would want to be looking for, uh, there's there's our 2750 right there, plus one deviation Tuesday POC. You can see where the massive sell-off started, and then basically it just gets wiped. So everybody freaked out over that massive sell-off, and then basically it just gets wiped out, right? So I do believe that's what's going to happen, honestly, because there's nothing fundamentally bearish in this market so it shouldn't continue going lower this should just come right on back right and then we normalize and we set up for a really good thursday or possible friday monday right so for me i would rather stay patient so if we start getting up above i want to be looking for my retracement sell triggers anywhere around that zone right there now if we go lower okay i'm not against looking for potential quick buy triggers off of that negative and a half and then my next buying opportunity would be right there on the negative one but hey i want to reiterate i'm this is going to be tricky as we're going lower volatility is really high we're over about a 30 percent volatility where normally we're we've been around 12. so if you're i just don't want to be straying new people away because this market is you as you can see I mean, look at this thing, right? I mean, I can't, I'm not that good. Like, I can't predict everything. And so if you don't know what you're doing, honestly, just stay out and watch, right? But if you do know what you're doing, there's going to be opportunities to get in and get out. You Like, these are the times where you get in and you get out within minutes because there's so much freaking money to be made. These are moving three to five. I mean, these are moving uh, 50 points within hours. I mean, this is nuts. It's rare, very, very rare to see this. So there's tons and tons of money to be made if you know what you're doing. But there's so much freaking money to be lost if you don't know what you're doing. So I don't want to lead you astray. If you are seasoned, have at this chart. I mean, it's going to be freaking awesome. If you're kind of noob, just hang back and watch and learn right because you want to be able to learn for the next time we get something like this you've seen it and you're ready to go so i'm not even going to look at the other charts there is some opportunity here but just if you don't know i mean there's i would most likely if you're kind of newer just kind of stick and look for some early opportunities in that in the forex markets where we still have structure to the left 
And so I'm going to uh, message me or Ryan Smith if you have any questions.